Hi guys, so we are back for part three of our contortion series. Today is all about kickovers and bridges. Okay, so make sure your backs are really stretched out and warmed up. We're going to show you what you need to do to learn to drop back into your bridge from standing and to kick over from a bridge and to handstand into your bridge. So these are what you need to learn before you learn to do proper forwards and backwards walkovers. So enjoy it. So if you make sure your back's really stretched out before you do this, make sure you're really warmed up, your shoulders are feeling really open. Do a couple of bridges from the ground to warm up. Really push over your shoulders because you're going to need to do that when you do your kickovers. Twisting it in and out of your bridge is really good for opening up your shoulders. Make sure you do it on both sides. So if you've never dropped back to bridge before and you don't feel confident, you can practice walking down a wall. As you're walking down, you can walk your feet further away if it feels too tight to the wall. Try and do it in as few steps as possible if it's quite easy for you. Try and make it less and less steps every time. On the way back up, push away from the wall. Don't climb up the wall. Just push away with one or two big pushes. You can practice dropping back to bridge onto your sofa or a bed or a bench. You can start much higher than this if you need to. Make sure you always do it with your arms by your ears. Don't cheat and keep them by your sides. If it's hurting your lower back, you can squeeze your glutes and squeeze your quads and that should help support your lower back. And when you're going down, really push your hips forwards. As you're dropping back, your head, neck and shoulders go first and then you go into your upper back. Then your hips are gonna come in front of your knees and your knees are gonna come in front of your feet and then it starts to go a little bit into your lower back. To control the last little bit, really push your hips forwards so that it's coming in front of your knees and your knees in front of your feet so that you control that last little bit and you don't get a crash at the end. Always think that you're moving forwards to go backwards, so you're pushing your hips forwards to go backwards and you're not just thinking of going backwards and that should help get rid of any quick movement at the end. And on the way back up as well, really think that you're pushing away and forwards and through your hips. Don't think that you're coming upwards. So to come up, you push forwards through your hips, not upwards. So you can practice kicking over from your sofa or a bench or a step. Start as high as you need to. You can start much higher than this. When you're kicking over, the key is to get your weight over your shoulders, so you really push through your chest and your shoulders to get over. Don't think that you're kicking up, you're kicking through your shoulders. You could even kick off a wall if this is too difficult. So you could do a bridge by the wall, put one foot on the wall and kick over to warm up your shoulders first. Make sure you can do that before you try kicking off something. If you've got a good split, you can really use it to get over. So make sure you're not bringing your legs together, you're keeping the split all the way over. And really stretch your knees and point your toes as you're going over. Be careful not to switch legs in between as that will make you lose momentum. So as you get better you can go lower and lower until you're really close to the ground. Always try and keep your elbows really straight.
make sure you practice this on both sides even if one side's really bad just practice it higher to make sure you're working both sides practice kicking over into a bridge this way as well onto something as high as you want as long as you've got lots of space so really aim to land on one leg and delay landing the other leg so keep your split in the air for as long as possible this will help it be more controlled and less heavy when you land when you're going into it, really look up and arch your back. So look forwards rather than looking through your arms. Look for your foot landing on the mat. And again, you can go lower and lower until you're on the ground. Try and bend as much as you can and think about standing up as soon as that first foot lands on the floor. Try and get all your weight into the first leg and really delay landing the second leg. Drop them in the comment section below and we will see you next time. Bye!